welcome back. If you didn't see our previous video, we bought our very own camper van. <laughs> and this weekend is our very first trip in it. So last night we stayed at a rest stop. We don't really have a lot of the equipment that we need yet. We don't have any bedding. We don't have any cooking facilities, but we do have these lovely fake plants up above. So we've got our priorities straight. <laughs> So this weekend trip is all about just feeling out what we need and we've got a bit of a checklist for the weekend. The first one is go to some camping stores so that we can get maybe like a cooking stove top and different things. Our second one is hopefully tonight we can stay at a nice free campsite. And then our third checklist item is just enjoy a little bit of nature. So like I said, we stayed at the roadside rest stop last night. It turned out it was very beautiful. It was really a perfect first night and first location for camping in the van. That was located in Yamanashi. And now we're gonna go over to the Fuji area to go to some camping stores. So let's get going. Let's go shopping. I reckon these ones look good. Mm, I think so too. And now we'll show you the loot. First up, we've got a dual burner. This one's a gas one. We really wanted to go with gas so that we can kind of like offset the amount of electricity we use. We kind of want to prioritize that for like our work equipment during the day. We've got a dual burner so that we can kind of have one half of the meal cooking on one, the other half of the meal cooking on the other. Cause just cooking on one, it's just a bit mendoxite, you know? We'll be popping that just here and hopefully doing some meals. We also got some fry pan and a saucepan. And we kind of got a set from Mont Bell so that we can kind of stack them together, super compact, and we can store them away just down here. We've got a little chopping board. It's nice and cute, and that's it. Still got a couple more items on the uh, shopping list, but I'm sure we'll tick them off. Number two on the checklist, which is stay at a free campsite tonight, is unfortunately not gonna happen. The day kind of just got away from us. We uh, had a nap, we did shopping, we talked to Roy's sister for a bit on FaceTime, and here we are. So uh, we're just gonna stay at a free roadside rest stop. Luckily, they're so plentiful in Japan. But before we do that, we've got to eat and get clean because it's been a little while since uh, we've had a shower. <laughs> so we've come to the glorious Coco's Ichibanya curry and we will try and find an onsen a little later. Let's go do a nighttime routine for the van. to play! Wow! Fuji, you are my second love. After me. After my first love. <laughs> Onsen time! Fuji is literally just there. Isn't that crazy? It's like, it's just there in all its glory. Are you used to driving the van yet? I'm used to driving it, but I'm a little worried always about parking because like normally we just hire tiny little like vans, rental car ones, but this one's quite long. So that, yeah, that still scares me a little. I think you're doing a great job, man. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, so, you know, here's, here's something that we're like kind of facing a little bit. You see that? Height, 2.3. Our car is 2.3. Three. So I don't think we're gonna fit in. And look how cute that the onsen looks. Like it's so it's a beautiful looking onsen. I reckon we just try and find a park somewhere nearby. Okay. I'm not gonna lose tonight. So the backup plan is that we're gonna park just across the street and we're just gonna run across like wild turkeys. See it's just over there. Wild turkeys. We gotta pack. Who said camper vanning was hard? Sometimes is, but we have succeeded today. <laughs> okay. 
Good morning. We found our rest stop last night. We've just woken up and lo and behold, we have an amazing view. Let me show you through the sunroof. <laughs> Ready? There he is in all his glory. Just over here on the side of the rest stop, we can get some beautiful, fresh, clean Mount Fuji water. So we bought our drink bottles. Is it beautiful? That is good water. Is it? Yeah, that is really good water. So in our previous video where we did a bit of a van tour, we told you about our power situation, which is we've got two sub batteries which charge while the car is going and we've got a solar panel on the roof. Now, we don't really know much about power. The second-hand car dealership where we bought the car from installed this nice panel so we can at least see, you know, what's going on. So far this trip, we've only got down to 90%. We've been running things like the fridge the whole time, um, the lights, the max fan, and just charging small things like our phones but seems to be going pretty okay. This trip's been very sunny and we've been driving quite a bit, so it's been charging the batteries. But when we are working out of the van, we plan to stay in one spot for quite a while. So we'll have to see how things go with power. Okay, let's get into the nature. So we have come like two hours into the mountains, driving through like the middle of nowhere. We get to this tiny little town in Shizuoka and look, oh Thomas, the tank engine trains. I think there's a festival on today, but I think they're also maybe just here all the time. Tell us Roy, are you a big... I was never a big Thomas the Tank Engine <gasps> fan. Really? Not gonna lie, the face has kind of creeped me out a little bit. <laughs> As I was saying earlier, we've driven like two hours into Shizuoka, into this like very tiny town, but I guess it's really famous for the train stations and the Thomas the Tank Engine trains. We've got heaps of uh, you know, little stands going at the moment with so much delicious food. So we've stopped before we're going hiking and into nature. But <laughs> oh yes, you're a beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> and so the third item on our list of things to do is to get out into some nature. You know, living in Tokyo is good and all, but get a load of this. This is the whole point of getting the van, just so we can be close to this and just get out into it as much as we can. And I don't know if you can see it, but just down there is a famous bridge in the parts of Shizuoka. Let's go. It's wobbly. Oh my god. It's pretty wobbly. Look at the line, Amy. It's ridiculous. Wow. You know, this is kind of Japan, isn't it? <laughs> There's a beautiful spot people will go. Oh shoot. Yo guys, look at this. That is like that's some night nightmare fuel that. <laughs> We do have to start making our way back to Tokyo, but we've made a small pit stop again at Nitori, a big homeware store here, to check off a couple more things. So, we got a big mattress topper because we didn't think sleeping directly just on the cushions in the back here would be quite comfortable enough. So, we just got this four centimeter one to give us some extra comfort. We got finally some bowl plate things <laughs> so we can eat off something. Uh, we got, you know, utensils and whatnot, cooking like equipment and you know some more 
plants because you can never have enough plants fake ones so that basically wraps it all up so thank you so much for watching and we're super excited to have you come along and watch our next ones where we go and explore the countryside more in our beautiful new to us van see you next time bye